Yeah. Let's have a look at the problem. The problem is like this. If three bar magnets of magnetic moment M, 2M and 3M are arranged like an equilateral triangle with opposite poles in contact, what will be the new magnetic moment? Let us see how that is being translated into a diagram in our problem. See what is being given here, what I have drawn here. Bar magnet of magnetic moment M, 2M, 3M. Then arranged like an equilateral triangle like I had shown here, right? See the poles, for example. This is the north pole in contact with south pole. This is the south pole in contact with north pole. This is the south pole in contact with north pole. That's what's being said. With the opposite poles in contact. What is the new magnetic moment of that system is the question that we'd like to answer, right? Yeah, let's try to answer this. Yes, there's a the system became little buggy. Yeah. Being the data is converted into a diagram, let's try to identify the direction of magnetic moment. As you know, direction of magnetic moment is similar to magnetic length, whose direction is from south pole to north pole. So this magnet's magnetic moment is in this direction. That is 3m value, value of the 3m. So if I take any imaginary system, that's along the negative x-axis. So I can write the first magnetic moment of the first magnet as, so for 3m, magnetic moment can be expressed as, vectors into consideration to make our job easy. This is for our origin, it's going towards the negative side of the x-axis. So I will call it like minus i cap. That's for 3m, right? Let's have a look at this 2m. Yeah, this 2m. We'll first handle m. Let's have a look at this m. This direction is from south to north this way that's the value of the m and you know here the angle is 60 degree so it's neither along x-axis nor along y-axis so we can resolve that into components as how much the value of that along this direction is as that is totally m this is m cos 60 along positive x-axis so i cap and this is the other value other component m sine 60 that's along positive y axis j cap so for the second magnet that is for 2m if you want to write magnetic moment what do you write tell me is resolved into components as what m cos 60 along positive x axis i cap and then m sine 60 along positive y axis j cap so how much is that m cos 60 is 1 by 2 i cap m sine 60 is root 3 by 2 j cap that's for the second magnet now let's talk about the third magnet this one yeah you know that direction is also from south to north this is the direction of that 2 here. Yeah. I'll resolve this here. This is the magnet. Here is an angle 60 degree with this, right? With the base, it makes an angle 60 degree. If this is 60, this is also 60. And this total value is 2m. So it will be 2m adjacent side to the 60 cos 60 plus psi cap because it's along positive x-axis and how about the other component this is in downward direction how much is that 2m sin 6 it is downward so it is minus j cap downward is minus j cap upward is plus j cap so can i resolve that into components now come on right for that for this um for this uh, 3m I have already written and then 
this what i have written is actually for m not for uh, 3m now i am writing for 2m for 2m magnetic moment in terms of component says see this is one value 2m cos 60 plus psi k plus 2m sin 60 minus j cap so how much is that let's simplify that 2m cos 60 sin 30 is 1 by 2 i cap minus 2m because it's a minus j sin 60 is root 3 by 2 j cap so these two and twos can be cancelled so that is m i cap minus root 3m j cap that's the values of each of the magnetic moment first one second one third one i want the combined effect of all of them how can i get the combined effect all of them just by adding all of them so total magnetic moment is of that system just add all of them add all i components first the first i component is 3m minus i cap so that is minus 3m i cap here the i component is plus m by 2 i cap here i component is plus m i cap so the magnetic components x component is mx is this much how much is that minus 3m i cap so if i take i cap common for all of them what happens then minus 3m plus m by 2 plus m by plus m is m of i cap so how much is that it will become m plus m by 2 or i can take 2 as an lcm minus 3m plus m plus 2m of i cap so how much is that uh, 2m and uh, 2m you missed a little calculation so when i when the lcm is 2 this has lcm of 1 so it becomes minus 6m this will become m this will become 2m because its lcm is 1 just multiply with that so this will become plus 3m and minus 6m minus 3m by 2 i cap that's the value of x component what's the value of the y component let's find out m y by adding all y components yeah the first i component is then for the first one there is no I co y component it's only x component for the second one root 3 by 2 m plus j cap and for the other one this is the other component of the y last component of the minus root 3 m j cap so if i have taken j common root 3 by 2 m minus root 3 m of j cap so 2 is an lcm root 3 m minus 2 root 3 m of j cap so how much is that value minus root 3 by m by 2 of j cap that is m y i got x component i got y component so the total m resultant is combination of that two how much minus 3m by 2 i cap minus root 3m by 2 j cap that's the answer well though that's an answer that doesn't looks like a comfortable answer for you maybe I can just find the magnitude of that vector. Yeah, that's easy. Magnitude of that resultant vector is root of x component square. That is minus 3m by 2 whole square plus root of y component square minus root 3m by 2 whole square. So if you simplify that, it becomes square root of 9m square by 4 plus 3m square by 4 that is root of 12m square by 4 that is root 3 times of m square 
that is root 3 times of m. So the answer for the resultant, the resultant magnetic moment is one root 3 m. Are you interested in finding out what is its direction is? Look carefully. This is minus i cap. This is minus j cap. So where is that minus i and minus j in your diagram? Go, go for the diagram. Be careful. Yeah. Where is your minus i? This is where your minus and this is where your minus j, your, your minus j, right? So your resultant is somewhere in between, it's having both negative components of x and y. Somewhere in between, if you look at the diagram, this is where your resultant is. I'm not in between, but somewhere in between, we can find that angle using the antenna. That's how we can solve the problem. Problem looks like lengthy, complicated maybe for you. I don't know. But it's very simple. We just need to resolve the magnetic moment into components. This is to tell you that magnetic moment is a vector quantity. So you can play it like with vectors. That's it. Thank you for watching.